So one of the things that a strong organizational culture does is that it reduces uncertainty. And uncertainty drives a, just an amazing array of human behaviors. People do not like uncertainty, they run from it. We would rather take a bad known option than to sit and live with uncertainty, most of us. Some people deal with it a little bit better than others, but generally speaking, none of us do it very well with it. That is huge. And the thing about having a strong organizational culture means that you can predict how you need to behave because you understand what the organization expects out of you and what your coworkers expect out of you. And you can predict largely how other people will behave because you know that there are social ramifications if people do not abide by those values. It also clears away a lot of the complexity of decision making at the top of an organization because now you're looking at what's happening to your organization through the lens of those values. And it's taking options off the table, making a complex environment more manageable for you to chew on, and then finding strategies that will be consistent with those values and as a result, they will be more palatable to the people who work for you. Because it's, it's almost like change without change. They can see the, the direct line. Okay, this is the goal that we're moving to in the future. And it's totally consistent with who we are today. Make sure to drive that point home to them when you're making strategic plans. When, you, when the values are clear and the people coming into your organization buy into those values, it's like the organization becomes part of who they are. So think about, think about if I turned to one of you and said, um, you know, your, your fire department, it's, it's just terrible. Think about how that feels. Like, does, it, does that cause like a pain? A, a quick, first of all, you're probably angry at me now, but the first reaction, did it cause a little bit of pain in your heart? That's because you and the organization have become sort of psychologically one. <clears throat> what happens to the organization, you feel. Because you feel like you belong to it and you feel like it's totally consistent with who you are. Another probably more concrete example, have you ever really, because we, we identify with anything, have you ever had a car that you really, really, really loved? So much so that when you got into it, it almost felt like it was an extension of you. And then somebody hit it. And it was like, it was like you, you actually physically got hurt. Same thing happens at the organizational level between people. And when you feel that way, when you experience the organization, like how it succeeds is your own personal success, you come to work. And you are very, very motivated to make sure that it's successful because its failure is experienced as your own failure. And values is a key component of that because until you have clear organizational values, People cannot determine how they feel about their fit in the organization.